Tube Supply is a distributor of mechanical tubes and bars. And Triple S Steel is a uh, about a 60-year-old distributor of structural steel products. Between us, we've got about 100 years of experience in steel. It used to be if you took an order and you delivered it next week, that was fine. Now tomorrow is almost not fine. We have to deliver very fast. Those are the needs for our customers. At Tip Supply, we want to provide excellent service uh, to our customers and in a timely manner. What can do that more than a robot? Automation is really the future, and if you're not pushing the envelope, you'll be left behind. It's about meeting our customers' expectations and how we can do that in the most predictable, most reliable fashion, and a robot does that for us. We had looked at some out-of-town robot integrators, and uh, Cameron and I were talking, and we came to the conclusion that Houston's the fourth biggest city in the United States. There's bound to be an integrator here. Did a little Googling, found ARC, and then found out that ARC's a customer of Triple S, which moved them to the top of the list immediately. And then we found out they're one mile from here. It was destiny that we found each other. ARC Specialties is headquartered in Houston, Texas. We are an equipment provider as well as a robotic system integrator. We serve the oil and gas industries, the aerospace industry, construction, and defense. Uh, we found that the uh, knowledge and experience that we have in automating uh, welding systems will translate very well into material handling or into polishing or into other type of uh, robotic applications. We uh, develop all of the design, mechanical and electrical in our facility. We have teams of mechanical and electrical engineers that work on this concept and create it to completion. ARC has helped uh, integrate the system from beginning to end, from our idea on paper to uh, full-on production of the robot. Before this, my only experience with automation was my washing machine, basically. And ARC has been very quick to respond and find solutions to problems we didn't even know we had. The major concern when I talk to people about automating their facilities is the unknown. They don't have the resources and the people available to, to program these robots when a change is needed. So the way that we uh, approach our customers that have never had a robotic installation in the facility is to uh, try to make the system as user friendly as possible. We chose KUKA because of availability. The robot was uh, stock for us, basically. Very high capacity, high payload type of robot that we were looking for, and, and the availability of this robot was there. Other reasons that we select KUKA is because of the service. The local application engineer is very knowledgeable about this product and uh, does help us out within a moment's notice. One of the key benefits of this system is efficiency. So we designed the system to be able to pretty much run unassisted. So once they load the raw material into the saw, the robot will measure the size of the parts that are being cut and pretty much stack them and index the pallets without any assistance. We can deliver 1,500 parts in a day, which used to take a week. The first robot that I saw was in a cartoon called the Jetsons. The housekeeper, her name was Rosie. So our robot has the name of Rosie. Until you see Rosie running, I had no idea of the service that would really ultimately end up that we can deliver to our customers. Yesterday we had pieces being cut that were weighed 176 pounds, and she didn't care if it's 3 pounds or 176 pounds. She's taking that part from the saw, stacking it on a pallet just repeatedly. And that order got out, I would say, in half the time that it did before. If we get a call for 2,000 cuts in a couple of days, as long as we have the material, we'll be able to service our customers. We keep about 100 million pounds of inventory in this plant every day. The large inventory helps keep stock for our customers' demand. If you call and want this, we'll cut it up and put it on a pallet for you. Our Safety Pink robot eliminates a very keen opportunity for repetitive motion injuries. What she is doing is picking up heavy parts and putting them in the same place time after time after time. I wouldn't want my child doing that job. With a robot doing the palletizing, there's no intervention with an operator that cuts out all of the uh, opportunities for, for a person to get injured. With installation of the robot, no employee was laid off, and now the jobs may have changed, but they're doing physically less demanding, which will lead to less injuries. The robot's great. It's going to be great for safety. It's helping. But really, it's just cool, and uh, we like cool. And we wanted to be the first, and we are the first. Oh, <laughs>
Orange Intelligenz. 